Aha. So today we've got a bit of a treat. We are going to go to Abu Dhabi and hopefully I'm going to show you So, today we're going to have a bit of fun. We're going to go to Abu Dhabi and we're going to see, hopefully, Sheikh Hamid's car collection, which is really weird and fantastically fun. In that collection happens to be the world's biggest Jeep. So, it's going to take about an hour and a half, two hours to get there. We may do a little bit of filming on the way, but the whole purpose is to go and see Sheikh Hamid's car collection. And that's, that's the purpose of today's trip. So another little vlog. Of course, I'm taking Georgie. Georgie's coming with me. Um, and we'll catch you on the road. So let's see, catch up on the way to Abu Dhabi. Well, look at that. George is wearing the same t-shirt as me because we got him as a bulk offering from the mother. I'm a lemming. You are a lemming. Where are we going? You need to speak up, people can't hear you properly. We're going to the desert to see some big truck. All right, all right, no need to shout. We're at the expo site now, look, almost. Yeah. Expo's finished. Yeah, and it's rubbish. It wasn't. You went there how many times? Twice. Three? No, the only reason... You went there three times, you didn't I go there twice. I German restaurant because it had currywurst. Do you like currywurst? Yes, but only... Oh, there you go. Food. But only in the German restaurant, which, yeah, okay. But it didn't do um, the proper curry verse because it did um, the beef or chicken sausage. Whereas, uh, anyway. So this is, we're coming up to the expo. This is the old expo site. It's over there. It's closed now. It's finished. It's no more. I don't know what they're going to turn it into. Something. What do you mean a junk? Why, why will it be a junkyard? So... You can't really see the expo site. You can just see the buildings around it, but it's, it's over there. Believe us. You can probably just see the top of the uh, atrium thing as we go past, or maybe not. <laughs> what's it called? The, what's it called? The big thing, there it is. The big thing in the middle. Coppola. The Coppola, there you go. And as uh, somebody mentioned in the vlog yesterday, this is a road road to, well, Abu Dhabi, where we're going to see a big Jeep, the world's biggest Jeep. It's probably going to be super hot. Super what? Hot. It's in the desert, so we'll find out. We'll find out what goes on. Many hours later. So, here we are. We're in the middle of the desert, basically, in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. And we are at the... Uh, National Motor Museum, yeah. which is uh, basically the, the unique and wonderful cars owned by Sheikh Hamid. And as you can see, uh, it, it's pretty empty. There's, there's nobody here apart from us, realistically. Now, I'm going to show you some weird and funky things. First thing we're going to show you is wow. this strange caravan type affair I don't know what it is it's a it's a it's 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 a trailer effectively in the shape of, of the world which is pretty weird um, but that's not why we're here we are here to see the world's biggest Jeep um, and it really is the world's biggest Jeep it, I mean it's massive and uh but there's some weird and wonderful vehicles at this museum and uh <laughs> we're gonna look at them but uh those of you who've ever seen top gear richard hammond came and had a look at the world's biggest jeep and we are about to see the world's biggest Jeep and I need to come over here before I show it to you because it truly is massive. Georgie go and stand next to it. 
this is and you're now going to get a size that is how big the world's biggest jeep is i mean it is truly huge and it works it's not it's not fake it actually works and uh, i'm stood next to it now and wow it, it actually does work it's, it's a real working Jeep. And I'm, I mean, look how big the damn thing is. I mean, it is just massive. Absolutely massive. That's the world's biggest axe and shovel. And yeah, I mean, it's got a real shovel and axe on it. And wow. I mean, look how big the wheel is. I mean, it's just huge. So Georgie, yeah. come, come and stand here. So I'm gonna try and get Georgie to stand right next to the Jeep. So you can, you can really see how big get it. it is. You can go underneath it. I mean, it is just massive. That is the world's Biggest Jeep. And trailer. And uh, there's, a, there's a caravan next to it, but we're gonna look at the Jeep first. Oh my life. I mean, it's just massive. It's just plastic. Look at it, it is huge. Absolutely huge. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this is where you put the fuel in. Well, apparently you can drive it. It has been driven. It's probably not been moved for a long time. And behind it is the world's biggest trailer. And you're not going to be able to see that, but it's the world's biggest trailer. And it's like a house. It's a, it's a house on wheels. And apparently it was designed, the world's biggest trailer was designed to be pulled by the world's biggest Jeep. So this is the world's biggest trailer right here. And it's, it's looking worse for wear, but it's basically a house. It's called Al Hujda. What? I believe. I don't know. It's the biggest Jeep. And it's in the Guinness Book of Records. And it is massive. It's absolutely huge. Apparently Where? built in 1993. You're excluding the monster truck over there. Seriously. So that's the world's biggest Jeep. That's the world's biggest house on trailer. Well, I suppose it's a caravan or something along those lines. Oh, there it is. So now we're going to have a look at a monster truck, Beautiful. which is a Mercedes monster truck. So this is the Mercedes monster truck. <laughs> look at this. Look at this bad boy, huh? Look at this. Yeah, what a bad boy that is. It's a Mercedes monster truck. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely mad. So, this is the Mercedes monster truck. Only in the UAE would you see a Mercedes monster truck. Now we're going to go inside. Go and get your mother. Go and get your mother. Go and get your mother. Why me? So now we're going to go inside the museum. Hello. She's got the tickets. She'll be here in a moment. Just that way. I'm filming. Is that okay? Okay. So we're now inside the museum. This is uh, basically Sheikh Hamid's personal collection of all the cars he's collected over time. And <laughs> I mean, there are some fantastic vehicles. We've been told to go this way. So we're going to see what's in this museum Whoa. of all his unique and wonderful cars. So. So this looks like the thing from James Bond, this one. <laughs> I've seen this. It looks like the thing from, uh, what's it called? The spy, the, the octopussy or something. James Bond. It's a James Bond-esque vehicle. That's a little a Formula car. 3 race car. This looks like something cars. you'd be kidnapped in. These very old cars. Look at this. <laughs> this, this is massive. It's pretty big. 
So there's some more monster trucks and strange and quirky vehicles around. What about? And there's another monster truck coming up. It's not a monster truck, it's just a normal car. So a there's a <laughs> special little buggy <laughs> with like diamond encrusted seats. No, I doubt that. So if we go around here, Georgie. So, so we've got a kind of car here. Look, this this here, this Dodge, and then a baby Dodge. I'll fit. I'll fit. Dodge, baby Dodge, big boy, daddy Dodge. <laughs> That's daddy Dodge. No, baby Dodge, son Dodge. I mean. Look at that! It's huge! Yes, it's absolutely massive. And you can see how big it is. Georgie can walk underneath it. Hmm. I'm now underneath the daddy dodge. Oh, no. And you can't go up. And it's just a load of old cars there. That's the daddy truck. So, getting to see, there's just lots of unique cars here. They're all his personal collection, I believe. Some of them, you know, are pretty straightforward. Oh, do you, you can do get them from you anywhere. The car, cars that but uh, look at this Dodge. I mean, that's just massive. Darren, these, are, these cars here, they, they have the suspension that makes them go like this. When they ride uh, mm. like this. Wobbly. And you've got all the different types of Mercedes that he owns. Right. Lots of Mercedes. And there's this big truck here, but it's not as big as that Dodge. I mean, that Dodge is huge. Absolutely massive, to be honest. And then he's got some special Mercs down here. He collects it from all over the world. So this is like a Gullwing Merc. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. But you want to see this one. I mean, this is gold-plated Mercedes. <laughs> it's a gold-plated Mercedes with a rainbow design. Look at that. Gold-plated with a rainbow mastiff. <laughs> so, lots of Mercedes, all different types. Wow. New He's York. got a New York taxi. Mm -hmm. He's New got York, a please. Californian highway patrol car. <laughs> Some taxi from somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe the Americans will know. And a Hazard County. Is that, is, is that like Dukes of Hazard? That is, isn't it? The Dukes of Hazard car. <coughs> How cool is that? There's another rainbow colored car. Another Mercedes. Rainbow colored. Look at that. So cool. And uh, all customised for Sheikh Hamid look. All of them. He's got like every colour you could think of. How weird. How bizarre. And then he's another goldy plated one with curtains and everything. Wow. Oh, is this an car? And now we get to the American muscle cars. This is a Firebird. Look at that. And he's got every single Firebird you could possibly want. Every single one. I mean, when did he ever drive one of these? Pontiac Firebird. One after the other, after I, the I, other. I know that one, yeah. After the other. I, I mean, this is just outrageous, man. I mean, look at this one. Yeah, yeah. Look. Unbelievable, yeah. Look at his car collection. It's truly extravagant. Oh, I like this one because the lights just like come up from there. It's unbelievable. Look at this Dodge. It's just absolutely obscene. 
<laughs> I mean, there's obscene, and then there's obscene. I mean, get a get a load of that Dodge. I mean, it's just massive. Look at it. It's huge. Wait, which one do you think is bigger? I'm going to try one? and stand at the front of this Dodge so you can get a, an understanding of how ginormous this beast of a machine is. Because it really is massive. I mean, look at that. It is huge.